Selling at craft shows can be a lot of fun, but with that can come a lot of overwhelm. You want your display to look professional, inviting, and attract more customers. In this video, I'm gonna share with you five simple tips to get you immediate more traffic at your craft shows. Hey, 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 makers. My name is Cameron, and like you, I run my own crochet business. Here on YouTube, I love helping fellow crochet business owners take the next step in their business and start making some serious money selling at craft shows. If that interests you, be sure to subscribe down below because I post a brand new video every single Friday. Friday. I'm actually so excited, more so than I normally am, to film today's video because setting up a beautiful, pretty display at craft shows is probably my favorite part of doing craft shows. So I can't wait to share some of my tips with you in today's video. Let's just get started. Tip number one is to display all of your best sellers right at the front of your booth. This isn't only going to draw in more customers, but it's actually going to help you make even more money on those already best selling products. Bonus, if you want to use a letter board or some sort of sign to say best sellers on the sign, that's also going to draw more people in. Once I started doing this at my own markets with a simple TV stand display right in the front of my booth, I've drawn in so many more customers. I can't tell you how many times somebody's grabbed one of these best sellers from that table and handed it to me immediately to purchase after seeing. Before even getting a chance to look at anything else in my booth, they already wanted to make sure that they got that item purchased because that's how much it draws people in. Tip number two is vertical displays. And I know, I know this is a tip I talk about all the time, but it's because it's so important. By going vertical, you're going to appeal to way more customers. And this is also going to help you stand out from your competitors. Let me tell you, nobody is shopping at a market looking down like this. They're always looking up and looking at everything going on. If you have all your products laying flat, nobody's going to see what you have to offer. And I have a really interesting statistic to share with you today that proves my point that vertical displays are always best. According to a study from the Journal of Retailing and Consumer Services, products placed at eye levels actually receive 25% more visual attention than the ones on the top or bottom shelves. And at stores, brands actually pay more to have their products displayed on eye level. And the awesome part is that we're our own boss and we set up our own little mini store when we do craft shows so we can display all of the things we want to sell the most at eye level. So the vertical display is not only going to make a super super pretty, cohesive, beautiful event that's going to draw people in, but it's actually going to make them more likely to buy from you as well. Tip number three is a professional sign or banner to display at your craft show. This not only increases visibility, it differentiates your booth from all your other competitors. And my personal favorite thing a banner does is it communicates professionalism. So pretty much this banner is going to bring you more visual attention, bringing in more customers and leading to more potential sales. A lot of you know this, but I graduated it with a graduate graphic design degree in college, and I love putting my degree to good use when it comes to my brand recognition, especially setting up at craft shows. Speaking of graphic design, I feel like I have to show off the new merch that is available on my website right now. I love this merch line because it's like my sassy merch line. That's kind of what I'm calling it. Shh, I'm counting. So sassy. So this one says, ignore my resting stitch face, which we love. <laughs> we also got the crochet all day crew neck, which is so cozy, so comfy. And you will, in fact, put a crochet all day when wearing this crew neck. One of my favorite sayings ever on a crew neck. I'm going to wear this one all the time. If I can't bring my crochet, I'm not going. Okay. I told you this drop is a very sassy crochet merch. I actually love that saying so much that I even made it into a a tote bag. If I can't bring my crochet, I'm not going. So I'm going to bring my tote bag and bring my crochet in my tote bag that says if I can't bring my crochet, I'm not going. You know what I'm saying? It's perfect. Since I'm just now launching this merch, it is on a limited time sale, but don't worry if you're watching this video in the future and the time has passed, I will link a coupon code so you can save 10% on your first merch order with me. Tip number four is to make good use of your lighting. Now this is really going to depend on the market that you're signed up to do, whether it's indoors or outdoors, but either way you can take advantage of the lighting. If you're outdoors, which way is the sun going to hit during your most profitable time of the day? You might not even be thinking of those things and if this is one of your first markets and it's totally overwhelming you don't even don't worry about it okay but this is a free tip if you're already there and the sun is hitting at a really pretty point maybe put some of your best sellers there and that's actually gonna capture more people's attention because the sun is shining right on your beautiful products that you're trying to sell the most of now if you're indoors and the lighting is kind of crappy I highly suggest bringing some of your own light sources you can use lamps you can use twinkle lights anything like that you can highlight certain products that maybe you think are gonna sell better at that 
show. An example of how I've done this in the past is I actually have these light up birch trees and I'll hang ornaments on there, I'll hang baby booties on there, so the light will capture people's attention and draw them into your booth. So lighting is super important to keep in mind when displaying at a craft show and I feel like that's something that a lot of us forget because we're just like, oh whatever, it's fine, there's lights in here. But if it's dim lighting, you really want to make sure that your products are being displayed at the best. You know what I noticed the other day, which is super funny, I've never noticed this before, but at the grocery store, you know when they have all the candy bars at checkout when they're trying to get you to buy a Reese's, which I do half the time because they look so good, I recognize that they have light on every single one of those candy bars. They're not just dull, like, oh, it's just a shelf of candy bars. No, they're lit up. Each candy bar is lit up. And it really catches your eyes. Like, it, it really does. It's it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> now, tip number five I have for you is to take advantage of the depth you have available in your craft show booth. I know I talk about vertical displays all the time, you know, do vertical displays, but you should also really consider the depth that you have available and the space you have available. So for example, if you have one six foot table and you put it right in the front of your booth and you have all this space behind you, what if you just kind of brought it back a little bit? Now you don't want to take it back too far because then it's going to not feel very inviting and you're just like sitting at the back of your booth like hey come on in but if you have it in a little bit it gives people space to come in and do a little shopping it's like they're coming into your own little shopping area a favorite display that i've done before is the u display so you got two tables on the side and a table in the back or whatever displays you're using that way they can walk into your booth and they're not just shopping from one table in the front of course if it's one of your first markets or you don't have a lot of inventory I always say it's better to fill up one table with a lot of product than two tables with kind of sparse product. It always looks better to have it a little bit more full. But if you have the product and you have the space, take full advantage of the booth space that you have. Since you're already probably paying a lot for your booth space, you might as well take advantage of all the space you have available. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I always have such a fun time with you here on YouTube. I actually don't want to quit hanging out. So if you want to keep hanging out, check out this video next and I will see you, my friend, in this video right here. Bye.